Okay. Hello, I'm, <clears throat> I'm Harris Cordados. I'm from, I work on Cyprus Energy Agency and I uh, will present you uh, some of the Enerscape's actions applied in Cyprus uh, project area. But first, let me say a few words about our agency. Our, our vision is to contribute actively to the conservation of energy resources, protect the environment, and, the con and con contribute to the quality of life. Uh, our agency was uh, funded uh, by the uh, European Commission about uh, for three years uh, through the Intelligent Energy Europe program. 75% uh, and another 25% uh, uh, was funded through Union of Cyprus of Communities. Okay, we have four uh, basic objectives. Promotion of, of renewables, promotion of energy efficiency, promotion of sustainable transport, and sustainable local energy planning. Our office is located in uh, Nicosia, the capital of Cyprus. And uh, the SEA team is uh, consisted by uh, six persons. Uh, and uh, Mrs. Santi Haralambu is our director. Now, what we do? Uh, we give information, advice, and training on renewable er and energy efficiency. We support the implementation of local regional energy plants. We perform energy audits of public and private buildings, environmental impact assessments. We raise, we're raising awareness on energy efficiency in RS. Uh, we issue certificates of uh, photovoltaic uh, installations, of course, and of course, participation in national and European projects. Now, regarding uh, Ener Ener Enerscape's actions, uh, our project area is uh, the small community of Ayana, which is uh, located uh, 60 kilometers west of Larnaga. It's a small community uh, with population that reach up to 339 inhabitants. Uh, the community of, of Ayana is built in altitude of 150 meters, <coughs> and it's surrounded by hills, as you can see in the picture. Uh, the size of the area is approximately 1,500 hectares. Uh, the residents engage both in agriculture and farming activities, of course in small scale since it's a small rural area. Uh, in the main center of the village, uh, we can find uh, traditional houses with traditional characteristics like, uh, like continuous layout, uh, the buildings are made uh, from uh, stones of the region. The roofs are at the angle covered with tiles, and uh, in general, the architectural uh, drawings are simple. Now, north from the project area is located the area Limgia Yana, which is under the protection of the network, network Natura 2000. And the part uh, from the protected area is it falls within the administrative boundaries of the community. And southeast from the project area is located the river Panagesta Zusa, which also is a, is a protected area. And the small part of this uh, spa area falls within the community. Uh, more or less, this is the characteristics of our area in culture and the environmental aspects. Now, uh, the situation in terms of rest in our area is uh, related with solar energy, biomass energy, and wind energy. Now, solar energy is mainly utilized in, in the residential sector with the form of solar panels for the production of domestic hot water. Then biomass energy is related uh, with biomass utilization for space heating and some cases for, what for, for hot water through traditional fireplaces. And the wind energy is related with two large commercial wind parks. Now, if we look at the local energy balance of the community, uh, the energy consumption is mainly electricity uh, through diesel and gasoline and the contribution of solar energy to the local energy balance is approximately 5%. Uh, 
and the wood biomass is uh, approximately three and a half percent. So why we choose this area? Because it's a homogeneous area with very few and subtle terrain changes that is very suitable and comparable to a rural area. Also, we meet, uh, as we mentioned before, the traditional and the uh, environmental elements uh, like the Nadura sites and the traditional houses in the center of the community. And of course, uh, the utilization the of the wind energy uh, is related with two large commercial uh, wind parks in a small area. Uh, the stock capacity of these two mentioned wind parks represent 10.2% uh, of the total estimate wind capacity by 2020. So among others, we want to see the reaction of the local citizens uh, regarding other rest installations in the area. So through Enerscapes, uh, we gather all the available information about the project area. We develop uh, landscape rest scenarios uh, we evaluate these scenarios through participatory process and indicators. And of course, we made the action plan. Now, the steps taken towards to the final decision, uh, we consider it important to establish uh, an advisory committee. We made a research door to door and meetings with the community council and uh, with the citizens. But first, uh, Cyprus Energy Agency organized a study visit to the first and largest wind park of, in Cyprus for the residents of our project area in order uh, citizens to have the opportunity to get familiar with technologies like uh, wind uh, turbines. So the first step uh, was to establish an advisory committee in order to solve any problems occur and during the project, especially in the evaluation of scenarios. Um, we performed door-to-door -door survey to the citizens of Ayana. Uh, we consider that this uh, approach was important because when you have to deal with a citizen, it's difficult to gather the citizens in one place and, uh, and speak about the Enerscapes or other projects and get information from uh, their site. So with uh, the questionnaire survey, we get uh, information like if they want to install rest, PVs, turbine, uh, small wind turbines, and also we inform them uh, in personal about the Enerscape project. This is some results from the questionnaire survey. survey. 83% of the residents in the community are positive about the possible installation of a PV system in their house. 79% of the residents are positive about a possible installation of PV systems in non-residential buildings. 88% of the residents are positive about the possible installation of PV park from a private investor in their community and 92% of the residents are positive about the possible investment of the community into a PV park, no wind park. Or <laughs> but in the other side, 50% of the residents were negative about the possible installation of small PV systems in the traditional center of the community, or in protected areas, or even a small rest system on the roof of the old church. You can see in the picture the old church. So uh, all these results were presented to the community council. And after we met, we met the, uh, we performed the meeting with the citizens in order to discuss the scenarios, scenarios and the action plan. We presented to them uh, the maps we made, especially for for the area, land, like the land use culture and uh, natural maps, uh, energy potential maps. We presented to them uh, pictures with photo montage to show them how it looks when you install a PV system in traditional houses. And of course the results uh, of the evaluation of the scenarios through the indicators. 
uh, all, things, all things considered, the community council and the citizens chose the scenario two, which is a balance between landscape and rest, but focusing about landscape. Uh, the citizens and the community wants to protect the center of the community and agrees with the restriction of any rest system in traditional houses. So the action plan we made for the uh, community uh, follows uh, some parameters like uh, rest development will be established respect the, respecting the environmental and cultural landscape of the area. Traditional development will be planned in coordination with the community council, the citizens and local stakeholders. The electricity amount that it will be consumed by the community in the next 10 years, it will be covered by the by RES. And priority will be given to urban and pre-urban areas, but also in rural areas. Now regarding capitalization of uh, the actions of the project, uh, we think that uh, energscapes can be connected uh, with uh, almost every, and every European project of initiatives uh, which is uh, dealing with uh, rest installations uh, like the government of mayors, as Lucas said before. Uh, our agency was appointed to be the executive agency for the promotion of the government of mayors in Cyprus and we're ready we prepared uh, 10 uh, sustainable energy action plans for uh, 10 municipalities. So we can see that Enerscapes, uh, it's easily to be connected with, with the government mayors. It's important to establish a construct constructive dialogue and communication with the Secretariat of Government of, of Mayor as a consortium in order to apply the methodology that was developed in Enerscapes project, especially in mun municipalities that they are planned to install uh, large scale rest plants or they plan to install uh, rest systems near or inside sensitive or protected areas. Also recently the European Commission has approved over 1.0 billion to fund 23 innovative renewable energy demonstration projects under the first call of the NERD 300 funding program. And this project covers a wide range of renewable energy technologies and large installations of plants. Uh, for example, four projects were awarded in Cyprus, Greece, and Spain concerning concentric solar uh, powers. More specifically, uh, in Cyprus, uh, the Ilios power plant uh, it is expected to have. 70,000 sterling digital units in total field area required uh, in total field area about 200 hectares. So it's obvious that such, such large scale plan installations, especially in small areas like uh, Cyprus, uh, need a good methodology in order to uh, secure a harmonious installations of these installations in the, uh, these plants in the landscape. 